Okay, student, this is the uh, topic series, and the question is given. Question is given to you, and that is in specimen paper. Specimen paper. 2020 and it is paper one. It is paper one. Paper one. Okay, student, the topic is. Uh, the question is written an arithmetic progression has a first term as a first term of 5 and a common difference And a common difference of minus three. Amesh, may I ask what is your final answer after making quadratic equation? Find the number of terms. Find the number of terms. Find the number of terms. Find the number of terms such that the sum such that the sum to n terms is first less than negative 200. Yes, uh, what about your answer, Hamesh? Amaze, what, what about your answer? Yes, Amesh. Iman, did you solve quadratic equation? So what is your answer? Sir, I am unable to solve the quadratic equation. Okay, don't worry. I will solve it. So no, I is coming. Okay, don't worry. I am coming to that quadratic equation also. Okay, we know the formula sum of n terms. Okay, we know the formula sum of n terms in AP that is n upon 2. Okay, 2a plus n minus 1 b and then bracket close. This is a formula, you know, sum of uh, n term in AP series. This formula is used. So what are our values given in the question? A is equal to 5. Because first term is 5 and common difference. B is equal to negative 3. And now we have to find N. So with the help of this formula, we will find the n. But thing is, this question is given less than student. They are saying less than 200, first less than 200. So what we will do, we will put this formula and less than negative 200. Okay, now substitute values in this question. Now, students substitute values over here. What is n that I have to find? n upon 2 and 2a. 2 multiplied by 5. a is 5 plus n minus 1. And we know b is negative 5. Oh, sorry. What is d in the given question? Negative 3? Negative 3. Okay, so we will input negative 3 in this formula. It is also multiplied with the bracket. 
okay the next one lesser than because it is saying lesser than so i write negative 200 okay the next step n upon 2 what is this 10 okay student now when i multiply negative 3 with bracket and minus 1 so what is my answer negative 3 in plus 3 am i right yes sir what is the next step now close this bracket over here and here too what is the next step yes student next step 13 minus 3 n uh let me end up on two first and in bracket 13 minus 3 n bracket close lesser than 200 next step student next step sorry it is 13 minus 3 n Okay, now I multiply with this bracket. 13 n upon 2. Now uh, 2 I will multiply to the other side. Minus uh, 3 n square. Okay, when I multiply 2 to the other side, what will happen? 400. So can I write directly 400? Minus 400. Minus 400. Okay, next one. Can I arrange all these values? Okay, can I multiply both sides with negative sign? If I multiply both sides with negative sign, what will happen? Sign of inequality changes. You know? Let me write over here one technique for you. Look at this. For example, minus 2 x lesser than 3 student if i multiply both side with negative sign both side so it will multiply it will multiply okay negative negative 2x so that it can become positive and negative 3 this negative and negative positive now what will happen this will happen that this sign of inequality will be changing. This sign of inequality will be changing. This will be 2x greater than minus 3. This is the rule of inequality. What happens when we multiply sign of inequality to the both terms, both sides, the sign of inequality changes. When we multiply with negative, sign of inequality changes. Okay. So now, what will happen? I will write positive 3 square, 3 n square, 3 n square, then negative 13 n, then, then student, that will become positive 400, but I, when I bring it here, it will be negative 400, okay? And the inequality sign changes and is equal to 0. Now solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula or use your calculator. I am giving you two minutes. Uh, Azan is also going on, so I will discuss after Azan. Use your calculator to find the value of n. Hurry up. You can use quadratic formula.
yes student when you solve quadratic equation you will get answer greater than 13.9 that and one answer will be negative but our answer will be 14 term because after 13.9 the first term will come that will be the first term after 13.9 that will be 14 are you getting so 14 term will be our answer but you have to use quadratic equation or use your calculator to find to solve quadratic equation hope student you got the concept any problem yes any problem can anybody tell me so that i can start another question for gp So can you explain the quadratic equ quadratic equation uh, again? The value of n. So uh, you can use the formula quadratic formula. Can you use quadratic formula? Sir, आप एक बार लगा के दिखा देंगे. Okay, Iman, आप कह रही हैं कि मैं इसको यूज करके दिखा दूं इस फॉर्मूले को कैसे चलेगा ये ठीक है तो चले मैं इसको इसी स्क्रीन पे यूज कर रहा हूं कि क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन कैसे सॉल्व होगी ये वाली चले अब क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ऐसा यूज कर लेते हैं चले बेटा ए क्या होगा व्हाट इज ए थ्री Student, what is a? Three. What yes, is sir. B? What is b? Thirteen. Minus Negative 13. thirteen. What is c? Minus four hundred. Okay, student, you will apply these values in quadratic formula, and you know quadratic formula. Minus b. Plus minus under root b square minus four ac. Four ac. Can you apply these formula values over here to a? Now, can you input these formula values here, please? Students, are you applying formula? Or should I apply again? Tell me. Hello, are you applying? Minus minus plus thirteen plus minus. Okay, under root b square. What is b? Minus thirteen, so it will be minus one sixty nine. And minus four ac, so it will be plus four three times twelve twelve four times. Yes, a student. Twelve four times how much? Four AC. Forty eight hundred upon two A. 
upon six. Can you tell me the answers over here? Student, you will get two answers. The first answer is 13.9. And second answer, you will get minus 9.8. You can check, you will get these two answers. Okay. So student, I hope you all have got the answer. So my first answer would be more than 13.9. Should I give you another question now? And if you have, if you all student have done this, should I continue? Hello students. Yes, Hamesh, should we continue? Yes, sir. Okay, now student, we are now studying today uh, sum to infinity in, uh, now I put the heading GP, put the heading GP, GP means GP means geometry progression. So now put the heading geometric progression. Okay, can anybody tell me what is GP? What is the uh, NA term of GP sequence? Common uh, common form of GP sequence A. Yes, tell me please. What is that? A comma second term. What is second term? AR student what is third term what is third term of GP AR square AR square okay third fourth term AIQ and like this continue now if this if any sequence is continuing going on so what will be the total sum of the sequence mean infinity means these terms will reach to the sum to infinity because after that there will be no more than that sum means because infinity sum would be given. So what is the formula of sum to infinity? Please put the heading. These kind of series are uh, in infinite series because uh, sum will be, if you know, if one series very small, 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 small coming, coming afterward, so there will be one term will become that will be in 0 0.00000 like this. So how much would you add them? Some, you will find the sum of all terms so sum of all term will be one time will come that all sum will be the same. So that is called a sum to infinity. 
so now i will tell you infinite gp infinite geometric uh, series so now i will give you the formula how can we find the sum to infinity formula so please write down sum to infinity like this there is a symbol of infinity like this infinity use this symbol for infinity so i am writing the formula for sum to infinity sum the sum to infinity formula is a upon 1 minus r a upon 1 minus r use this formula write this formula in your copy Okay, now I am giving you one question. This is sum to infinity formula. Okay. Now I am writing one question. Yes, Hamesh, you are saying something. Hello, Hamesh. No, sir. आपने मैसेज में लिखा नो सर तो मैंने समझा पता नहीं कुछ चीज समझ नहीं आई आपको अभी जो मैंने बोर्ड पे लिखा वो समझ आ रहा है आपको Yes, sir. चले ये फॉर्मूला सबने लिख लिया सम टू इन्फिनिटी अब नाउ आई एम राइटिंग वन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू प्लीज नोट डाउन all of you please write this formula then i this question then i explain okay student can you find common ratio write down the common ratio can you find can you find the common ratio of this sequence what is the formula to find common ratio what is the formula what is the formula to common ratio common ratio can be find by a divided by a 
सेकंड टर्म डिवाइडेड बाय सेकंड टर्म डिवाइडेड बाय फर्स्ट टर्म फर्स्ट टर्म बिकॉज इफ एनी एनी प्रीसीडिंग टर्म कैन बी डिवाइडेड बाय द द लास्ट वन ऑफ दैट टर्म लाइक इफ यू टेक 9 so don't worry if you take 9 so divide by uh, second term divide by first term second term is 9 and first term is 15 second term is 15 and first term is 25 like this so you will find like this okay now student we are uh, we are going to find the uh, say common ratio what is the common ratio now second term is 15 divided by 25 what is the final answer 3.5 3.5 is common ratio okay now our common ratio is representing by common ratio is represented by r so now here we have found r what is a what is a hello students time is very short so please cooperate with me by replying hurry up what is a in the given question 25 very good a is 25 and common ratio is 3 upon 5 now i have to find sum to infinity because the sum will to infinity would be you will input in the formula sum to infinity and that is uh, sum to infinity is a upon a what is a 25 upon what is that 25 divided by can i write like this 25 Can I write like this so that it will be easy for us to divide? Divided by divided by one minus three upon five. Can I do like this? The whole express the whole term is going to be divided. Now find the find the sum to infinity. What is your answer? Sixty-two point five. Sixty-two point five. Very good. So sum to infinity has become. But can you tell me what does it mean? Sixty-two point five. Because the, okay, you can see twenty-five, fifty-nine. Then one one time will come. The term will be too much, very less, very less. Minus one crore, for example. because it is becoming negative 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 very negative values if i say uh, divide by 9 then i more term will be written in decimal point it will come so the sum to infinity will not be more than 62.5 because the value will be very very less in the coming terms hamesh can you explain what is sum of infinity sum to infinity can you explain to the class because some student have just joined now can you tell me what is sum to infinity hamesh i am asking from you sir i am uh, myself little confused about it confused about it iman have you understood or can you explain what is sum to infinity hello iman are you there hello student Eman, are you there? Anaya, can you explain what is sum to infinity? Sir, so I am also confused about it. When did you join the class? 
सर दो मिनट पहले okay uh, don't worry uh, the lecture is being recorded you can also see okay i'm explain i'm going to explain now student when i write any sequence and now sequence is going to be decreased you know one time will come the answer will be very less term will be very less un uh, unable we can we will be unable to count that term it will be very very less my 0.00001 so would you would you be able to add that term coming those coming term which are very less your sum of the sequence will stop somewhere where your answer will be not more than 62.5 how can you add 0.000000 in 62.5 it will be very 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 less so that is why we can say this is sum to infinity this is sum to infinity now uh, can you explain salar can you explain now yes salar Salar, are you there? Vasil, Yusuf, Amin, anyone can please explain? Sum to infinity. Yes, Iman, are you there? this is the formula of sum to infinity because the coming term will be very very less and your sum will not be more than 62.5 this is what i am saying and you will put all these values in this formula and you will get the sum of infinity like this before this we were using the sum to uh, sum to n term in ap that is like this when you have been given few terms and you you are asked to find sir i got explain again yes am iman explain please sir i got disconnected can you tell again okay i am going to tell again sum to infinity means when you write a sequence the numbers are going to decrease now iman tell me after 9 it is written 25 15 and 9 okay after 9 there will be a number less than 9 or greater than 9 the number which will come in this sequence less than 9 right? less than 9 and then after that more or less and then after more or less mean number one time will come the number will be zero do you agree do you agree the numbers are going less and one time will come the number will be zero zero point something zero 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 okay do you get this yes sir okay so is if i give you few numbers which are very 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 less i ask you to add in 10 i am giving you a number 10 and i ask you add the number which is very less you can un you are unable to read that number 0.00000 i ask you uh, add this number in 10 so what will you say you will say sir 10 is the last number which can be shown in this series because after that i am i am adding very less numbers so very less numbers are uncountable so we are going to ignore and we can say the, the final term the final sum of the term is 
because after that the numbers are very less i am i'm not going to add those numbers so the, those numbers will not be added so we stop there and we say and say that this is the sum to infinity because if you take infinite numbers infinite numbers sum will be this so in general way now i'm going to make it more easy for all of you what does it mean it means in the sum of infinite numbers the sum of infinite numbers i hope now you get this concept getting yes sir in the series i can write in the series now now tell me anaya hope you got the concept yes sir the numbers in the series will be sum to okay student very good now uh, i am giving you the so this is uh, the question that you people will find sum uh, find the sum uh, to infinity of each of the following series 11.5 question number 1 11.5 question number 1 and two this will be your home assignment please note down exercise 11.5 question number 1 one all parts you will do one all parts a b c a b c d and now you will do question number 2 now you have to do these two questions and i hope we will have next class on friday okay we will have next class on friday inshallah i will also update on the, uh, in the whatsapp group okay student i hope you have uh, understood this concept so inshallah we will see you in the next class say we would be having it online or on site we will be having friday on site class. friday class on site on oh, oh, sorry friday we will be online all classes will be online okay sir and and one class on saturday morning and two classes uh, 7:30 pm however i will also inshallah update on the in the whatsapp group so i hope you understand all these concept of sum to infinity we will be, we will proceed this concept in our next class also so kindly join the class on time so that you can understand more content of the topic so i hope you understand all of you have understood yes sir yes sir